cruising along the coastline of Portugal. 10 to 15 knots of wind, um, almost no swell. It's more or less perfect sailing conditions. However, uh, right now I am really concerned about the safety of my ship and the safety of my family. So, why is this? Since 2020, yachts sailing along the Atlantic coast of the Iberian Peninsula have had interactions with killer whales. The killer whales are making physical contact with the vessels, mainly with the rudder, often damaging the steering and in two cases even resulting in the vessel sinking. According to data collected during 2020, nine individual killer whales divided into two main social groups were responsible for these interactions. In 2021, another five individuals were identified. The interactions have occurred all along the Atlantic coast of the Iberian Peninsula. Data from 2020 showed that there was a general movement of the interacting animals from the Strait of Gibraltar in the beginning of summer to the top of Spain in September and then back to southern Portugal in November. In 2020, there were officially 41 interactions with sailing yachts. 68% of these interactions resulted in damages to the vessel. According to data collected by the Cruising Association, in collaboration with Atlantic Orca Working Group, the number of interactions between the 1st of June and 4th of December in 2022 was 81. In 84% of these cases, there were damages made to the vessel. Similarly to 2020, the positions of the interactions in 2022 suggest a general movement from the south to the north and then from the north to the south. But there have also been interactions more or less simultaneously separated by long distance and interactions all the way up into the northern part of the Bay of Biscay. There is at the moment no conclusive evidence of the motivation of this behavior. No one knows why these animals is damaging sailing yachts. Nevertheless, the increasing numbers of identified interacting individuals and a larger affected area suggest that this behavior is reproduced through social learning. If this is the case, and this behavior is transferred to more individuals, it is likely only going to get worse unless something is done to prevent these interactions. The best proxy I have found on the number of affected yachts in relation to the number of yachts conducting this passage is coming from the yacht community itself. As a way of distributing observations of killer whales and interactions in a fast and easy way to yachts sailing in the risk area, a WhatsApp group was created on a private initiative. In this group, yacht could report their name, destination and observations or interactions on a daily basis and distribute to all members instantly. Between the 13th of October and the 4th of December, there were 127 yachts reporting their name and position from the northern Spain to the Strait of Gibraltar in this group. At the same time period, there were 31 interactions in this area according to the data collected by the Cruising Association. Some of the vessels in the group were sailing far offshore, only making a few stops along the way, and others, such as myself, sailed only during daytime and tried to stay as close to the coast as possible. Some sailed only parts of the way and then stopped, but the vast majority crossed the whole affected area and are now either in the Mediterranean or further south in the Atlantic. According to the country code used in WhatsApp, the reports were generated from yachts coming from 18 different countries, which also indicate that these reports mainly originated from yachts in transit. Of the 127 reporting yachts, there were two yachts having interactions with killer whales during the time period. If you sail from north to south or south to north along the Atlantic coast of the Iberian Peninsula between May and December, you will likely at some point be crossing paths with the interacting killer whales. According to the subsample of passages I presented here, it is currently about 1.5% of the yachts that sail along this coast that have interactions with killer whales. If you do have an interaction, the risk of damage to your boat is severe.